Good morning, guys. Me and my wife didn't go on a little shopping trip. And I know of one pawn shop I've never stopped at. I'm gonna, it's right down the road from where she wants to go shopping at today. We're going to stop there, see if they got any knives. And then we're going to stop at a hardware store I've always wanted to shop at in Pike County in Zebulon, Georgia. I had to hit this pawn shop real quick to see if they got any knives in there. Check that little, look like an Uncle Henry right there. Two shreds. I don't know if that's a shred in the shred case. But we're going to check them out. The one up here, I'd like to see uh, that one right there. All three of them right there. Uh-uh, uh, just, just though. These, these two here, mm -hmm. what you want for those? Yeah. Them two I'm not uh, the interested so you, in. One only? Yeah, I like that sheath if, if you want to sell it, because mm -hmm. it don't go with that knife, mm -hmm. and I like to buy that one too. How much you want to pay? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you want for them? Mm -hmm. I'll give you uh, 10 for this. See, the blade is narrowed down some. It ain't the original. You can give me $20 good stick. How about about 15 I'll do it. Cash. You got 15 cash? 20. 20 cash. I'll do that. That one right here. I was just going to see what that one is. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That's very nice. I appreciate that. Hey, I'm going to pass on this one. I appreciate it, buddy. Y'all have a great day. Uh, it's, 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 it's China made. I'm mainly looking for USA made old knives like, like I redo them and repair them. But I appreciate it, sir. We thank you. Hey, I appreciate this sheath. You never know what you find in a pawn shop. Town of Zebulon, there's a hardware store. It's locally owned right outside. I'm gonna see what they got inside. They might have knives. It's called Pike Depot, Pike County, Zebulon, Georgia. Candy. How much are those? Here, Twelve bucks. Can can I see you a small one? Yes, sir. I didn't know they made keychains, man. Mm -hmm. I see a green one. Okay. I have to get it from the back one. Mm -hmm. Wow, ain't that cool? That is so cool, man. Right? You're 12 bucks? Mm -hmm. Um, I think they are $10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're $12. Well, I will take one. Okay, sweet. Sure will. Can it come out? Yeah. That is sweet, man. And what what's the, the, the model of this? Oh, it's the Explore. Now, how does this work here? This presses in. Oh, yeah. Push Ain't that cool. Buttons. And that's for a lanyard right there. Dude. And this is a lock blade, of course, right? Mm hmm Yep. That spins over and makes it a lock blade. Dude, I love that. I'm about to 
put that on my, my Christmas list, you know? And they're so simply made, mm -hmm. and yet well made, you know? And there's a way, push it just right. This pulls out, you can pull uh, ticks. Oh, wow. See there? Just another cool thing, man. Mm -hmm. The Apanel is becoming one of my, my favorites. I just bought one and I love oh. it. Just bought one. And I, I didn't know they made them keychains. I'm so glad I, I stopped here. I've been wanting to stop at this store for a long time. And uh, I'm glad I did. I don't know, guys, but I am digging Longhorn Steak Knife. I just love the design of that. And it feels good in your hand. <laughs> Still on the road trip. We just stopped at Longhorn fixing to eat. But I love it. Feels good. Walmart's got some good selection of Kershaw knives. That green one looks good, and I believe it's USA made because it's sixty-four dollars. See that green one right there? I love it. I had to put that on my Christmas list. The buck one ten right there, sixty-five dollars. You know that's USA made. That buck right there, buck one nineteen, seventy-five dollars. There's my Swiss Army knives. I love them too. This is definitely going to be on my. Christmas list here. That's what I want. Christmas right there. Work sharp sharpeners. That's gonna be nice. Okay guys, so I am back from my little road trip that we took today. My wife wanted to go a little bit of shopping and I talked her in to let me stop at a at a uh, pawn shop. There was only one right close by. It was Sam's Pawn Shop in Griffin, Georgia. But uh these are the these two are what I paid uh twenty bucks for. Um, which ain't a bad deal, especially for a knife, sh a shred knife sheath like this one. And uh, I have a very special use for it. And it's funny, I was looking, already looking for one of these, and it's funny, the next day one popped up, so I had to grab it. And uh, this little thing here is a shred 152. It's called a sharp finger, but uh, we're gonna clean this. Blade up. It's got a little patina on it. We're going to clean it up a little bit. You can see it's a little surface rust around the handle there. I'm going to clean this up real good. And we're going to start looking for a sheath for this one. I'm also going to put a leather lanyard back here. Don't have them thumb grips, but it is a place to put your thumb and your, your finger, a uh, uh, finger guard on there. But uh, it's a great skinning knife. It's got a good edge on it too, so... Uh, but it'll clean up good. Gave 10 bucks for it. He also just threw this uh, sheath in there, but it's a, it's one of those uh, a fillet knife, a fish fillet knife uh, from Finland. It's a J Martini, which I just found one of these at the uh, 65 mile yard sale, but I'm always coming across these. Uh, not all the time, but I have seen them. And I've seen them without sheaths, so the next time I find one, I'm going to buy it, and I'll have a sheath for it. So it's always good to have an extra sheath. Um, and this is the little knife I bought at um, the hardware store in Pike County. Um, it's an Apanel, made in France, a little for a keychain. It's just it's 10 bucks I gave for it. But uh, it is sharp as a razor, and I'm going to put it on my keychain, my F-250 keychain. It's very, very light. You can't even really tell you're holding uh, anything. So, uh, very nice little knife to have. And uh, it's these knives, I am falling in love with these knives. These are they're very well made. And uh, even for this 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 little thing, it's so simple but very well made. I love it. Here's the special use for this sheath here. This is what I'm gonna be using for. You remember the, the Mustang that I repaired for my, my friend? You remember it? It's a beautiful knife now, right? And this is what it used to look like. So I found a sheath for it. Ain't that cool? I was looking for one for only a day and it, <laughs> it and this one popped up in that pawn shop it had a uh, a sologen a german sologen made knife in it but i didn't really want it i just didn't like the design and I, and I really didn't care for the handles on the knife so 
I talked him into letting me just buy the sheath without the knife because he had that knife in there and I just didn't want it. And he did. I gave 10 bucks for this and 10 bucks for this, no tax. A 20 dollar bill and, and I believe I got a pretty good deal. Um, especially when he threw that in. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, but I do want to give a big shout out. Uh, check my mailbox, my post office box. And uh, I uh, had this in there waiting on, on me. And it's from Big J's Knives. He sent me some coasters, a couple of coasters, and some, some stickers. I thank you, Big J, so much for this. And he wrote me a note. If y'all haven't seen the live show, I'll share the link of the live show in the description. That I, I went on his show, and, I was with, and it was a live show. It was with uh, Boston Blade, Big J's Knives, and myself. They interviewed me, and it lasted about an hour and a half. And if you don't know, they they have a, a live knife show every Sunday night at uh, or every Sunday evening at five thirty. Uh, so be sure to catch it next Sunday. Um, Kevin, thank you so much for the coming on the live chat and donating donating an awesome blade for our giveaways that's what that gaw stands for i wanted to get you some stickers and coasters for you to use thanks again for all your support big j if you haven't uh seen this show or his channel guy y'all y'all go and subscribe to boston blades and to uh to big j's knives great great channels they review knives and uh there's just a couple of great guys I appreciate that, Big J. But uh, this is the knife haul for today, guys. It wasn't a, a big hunt. Uh, we were pushed for time, but I did talk her and let me go to that knife shop in that uh, hardware store. So it was a good, it was a good stop because, again, you just never know what you find, and I would never expected to find a shred knife sheath that would fit my my buddies, that would fit my friends. Mustang Shred here, lock blade. So I'm going to be giving that to him this afternoon. He don't even know about the... Uh, I did send him pictures of the knife, and he, he thought I was sending him a knife of what it's supposed to look like. He had no idea this was his knife when I sent him the pictures. Uh, but he was very surprised on how well it turned out. But I'm giving this to him today, but he don't know anything about this sheath here. So he's, he's going to have a big surprise waiting for him. But again, guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in today. I surely appreciate the support. And again, I want to thank Big J's Knives for sending me the coasters and the stickers. Thank you, buddy. Uh, but thank y'all again, guys. And I just want to say God bless y'all. And uh, until we meet again, y'all be like a good knife. Stay sharp. <laughs>